So, so apart from apart from my family shenanigans, we talk about games here. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, Corey, true. Corey already let the cat out of his own bag. Uh, he hasn't played a lot because he's too busy trying to give himself work to do. Huh? Uh, I succeeded immensely in that goal. I by mean, the way. fantastic! I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. So proud of you that you absolutely find every possible way to obstruct yourself from fun. I know this is fun to me, though. Sometimes, is it? <laughs> if, okay, look. If I if, 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 if I had more than an hour and a half a night to work on it, then yes, it it is a ton of fun. But when you're trying to cram like twenty or thirty hours of work into yeah. six, yeah, <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, no, it's not. Sure, uh, it's not. So so not playing a lot of games. Uh, I mean, nothing new. I, I played a yeah. lot of Assassin's Creed and Borderlands and Hob, but that's that's it. That's like I mean. I don't really know how much more I can say about those games. I just, those are my, that's my comfort food right now. Oh, I play a little bit of the division also. I leveled up twice and congratulations, cool. man. And I was like, let's, let's, let's go uh, play some borderlands. Let's shoot stuff. So nice. But that, I mean, that's it. It's, I don't know. I feel bad that I haven't really played anything new or to discuss, but well, life, I, man. I, life. Yeah. Finds a way to get in the way. Finds a way to get in the way. Yeah. Um, I'll go. I'll go next just because I've really only been playing the division. Um, Which is good though, because you're actually getting your money's worth. Well, yeah, man. It 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 is. It is good that I'm getting my money's worth out of the game. It's pissing me off because it is completely cock blocking me from playing Sekiro. Like I'm. I I keep. I look at that and I'm just like, nah, man. Gotta go. I gotta go back to DC and finish, and, and finish this shit on hard, um, which I've done all of the main missions. I just haven't done all the strongholds. Yeah, you like that? You like that? <laughs> I'm three bears in on not a lot of. Evil. Oh, I know. <laughs> that explains a lot about I, earlier. <laughs> I woke up. I am two in, in and I've not eaten yet. So. Um, this is gonna uh, get weird. Uh, you mean it's not weird no. yet? <laughs> well, weird for us. I mean, is it's it, probably I thought weird. we. I thought you said we were literally rebranding the show. Nerds gone weird. Who I said that? I, I mean, you you rebrand the show every week because last week it was nudes gone rogue. Yeah, and this this week it's it's nerds gone nerds- wild and weird. Yeah, because I typed in I typed in nerds gone into YouTube and then it said nerds gone wild <laughs> buffalo wild wings. It's like what? I you don't want to. You think that's just this big nerd like rubbing his naked body with with buffalo, buffalo wings? wings? You know, I do now. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't know no, somebody uh, was so dressing good. tatty tassels. Oh, uh, and then, and then there's probably like there's probably a huge a, a weird amount of really discourse that, but. in the comments <laughs> saying why is he using ranch? You're supposed to use blue cheese. <laughs> like there's just a big old debate. Nobody wants uh, chunky nipple tassels. Okay, that's true. I mean, you know, don't king shame me. Hey, you know what? You do you, man. I will. You do. not now, but later. <laughs> oh, that's also um, fair. Uh, but uh, what a show so today, the guys! Woo! Oh, man. Uh, man, it is high quality content. We got I mean, we got rid of Phillips, and this is the content you get. <laughs> <laughs> he would he would have had his third aneurysm by now. <laughs> 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 oh, We're cutting the guy off, Moose. No, <laughs> we need to write down your answers. I always write down my answers. I will say that I will say this. I listened to last week's show like twice in a row today because I thought it was really good. Yeah, last week's show was really good. You guys, missed, you guys really missed out if this is your first show. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Everybody. Yeah, I think that was our peak, and then you're you are on the downhill slide. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> um, I'm getting no, worse uh, from here, guys. 
So getting getting back to the division, I've done all the main story missions on hard difficulty. Mm -hmm. I've started the strongholds. I started at the Roosevelt Island one, a big fucking mistake because uh, I play during the day. I don't get a chance to play with uh, my friends because I work overnight. Um, and so I have to kind of party up with randos when I can. And doing the Roosevelt Island stronghold on hard difficulty Everybody gets to that very last segment of it, and then they'll run it. They'll try, they'll run through it twice, get absolutely annihilated because you have to actually, you have to you you have to kind of have a plan and expect that plan to go absolutely wrong, and you have to, you have to have you you basically have to be willing to adapt to to what's going on, and it's it's a it's a, it's really difficult. It's a shit it is. It really is. Uh, doing like doing the strongholds in the main story, super easy. Like it's super. Just wait till level thirty. Do them. You just walk through them. Um, but on hard difficulty, like it's. Ugh. But I I tried that for multiple hours Thursday and Friday. Uh, no success. Uh, overnight, I went into I, I tried it again. Same situation. Everybody gets to the last one, and then people just start like, "Nope, fuck this, I'm out." Mm -hmm. So I attempted the hyena stronghold. That's the Judiciary Square one. Uh, yeah, that that one is easy is easier on hard. Like you still need four people to do it, but it, it I'm just like, wow, this one's not bad <laughs> compared to that Roosevelt one. Um, and I haven't tried the Capitol building one. So I also found hunters for the first time. Mm. Um, and, and those guys are fucking assholes. Uh, I don't know if you guys have, have, have dealt with any of that, but there are, have you guys, any of you gotten any of the masks? I cannot say that I have. Dude, I'm, well, I'm not even like max level yet. Just like because as soon as Borderlands came out, sure, was, you don't need to yeah. be a, a max level to to attempt to find the hunters. You just have you have to do no. you have to do a bunch of. I think this is probably the most MMO thing you they have in the division where you have to find. You, it's basically you're doing several archaic tasks that trigger these enemies to show up, and these are probably the toughest enemies in the game. Like. Uh, and, and they're they they basically operate more like players than mm -hmm. like the the enemies. Uh, they they fuck up, they fuck with your shit just as much as you fuck with theirs. <clears throat> so okay. I, I I went to in the East Mall. There's this coffee shop, <clears throat> and I pulled this lever in it, and the there's a Christmas tree outside that lit right the hell up. So I'm like, huh. So I'm like, look, at, I'm, I actually walked around it and just sort of looked. Then all of a sudden, boom, four hunters show up. And uh, I'm basically on the run for a long time. I almost took one of them down, but ended up getting killed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I met some people trying the, the, the Roosevelt Island stronghold again. And they said, "Oh, you." Want, I'm like, "I'm like, have you guys done any of the mask stuff? Because I just found some hunters." And they're like, "Oh yeah, we've done them all." I go, "You want to help me kill these four in the East Mall?" They're like, "Yeah, let's go do it." Yeah. Uh, we we took one of them down. They, they, <laughs> all four of them gave us a fight. Um, then it, it actually we took one of them down, uh, and I I actually got a mask, and I just I realized that I had to go to bed. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, I don't have time to do this anymore. I need to go to sleep. Um, but interesting story. Uh, the people I was playing with all, they're all, it's a, it's a mother, a father and a son. Um, they live in New York, but they all used to live in my neighborhood that I live in now. <laughs> like five years ago, they moved, they moved to New York. Mm -hmm. And so that was an interesting conversation. I thought it was fun. Sounds like a good time. Weird odds. They're like, because the, <clears throat> uh, he brought up that he's from Philly. I go, oh, I live in Philly. He's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, no, I'm I Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is where I am. I live in Roxborough. He's like, get the fuck out of here. I said, no, I live in. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Live I, I live in Ro Roxborough. I said the street. He's like, I lived on this street. I'm like, 
yeah, that's like two blocks away. <laughs> he's like, he's like, do you know like Della Sanders? I'm like, yeah, it's the worst cheesesteak place in Philly. He's like, get the fuck out of here. I go, okay, we can argue about cheesesteaks later, but, but yeah. <laughs> can't argue yeah. with a man's cheesesteak, man. What are you thinking? Right. right. No. But yeah, I've not played anything else. Um, I wanted, to, I wanted to, wanted to, wanted to uh, play Falcon Age, but I just, I, I can't, I can't stop playing the division. It's a problem. Falcon Age. Falcon Age is a VR game where you have a little falcon. And oh, you can, yeah. you can put little hats on it. You can do little fist bumps with it. There's, you can put a dog mask on it because why not? Mm, okay. It looks like a looks like a Shiba Inu, and it just it, it you could yeah. It looks it looks it looks it looks super adorable, and I cannot wait to play it. But haven't played Sekiro either, which is uh, it's a shame. It is it really is. It's a shame. 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 That's a Game of Thrones reference, Corey. Look at you just participating. Hey. <laughs> hey, how about that guy that died last night? Am I right? Got stabbed? Yeah. Dragons? Am I right? Dragons. Yeah. E. Fire. I, contrib I contributed <laughs> to Game of Thrones. All that good stuff. <laughs> did you watch last night's episode, Moose? Yes, I did. I'm um up to up to snuff on that. Yeah. Thought it was good. I I it was fuck, a good, man. <laughs> a good season premiere. I like yeah. it. Um, that very end, man. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> that very end. Yeah, it'll be. It's they. Like, they're just gonna hit the ground running with everything. Like, I mean, it's the last season. Each mm -hmm. episode's what supposedly over an hour or something. Yeah. Although I don't think this one was. It's no, I, th I think I it was think, just about an hour. I think uh, Veep. With uh, Julia Lewis, Julia Louis Dreyfus, yeah, is on at ten. So I'm like, why are you putting this on at nine, and that's on at ten? So like, because I heard like they were talking about the whole through like coming up to the season. They're like, oh, it's they're gonna be longer episodes, so it's gonna be like an hour and a half or whatever. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, but it's HBO. They'll just they'll just adjust their schedule. Well, yeah, later. they could also start it earlier. They could be like, hey. <laughs> Tonight's, you know, this week's episode is going to start earlier. I'm sure if they just put that out on Twitter, everybody would know because everybody's following that stuff. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm looking forward to it. I think Jason and I are going to watch it in a PSM party chat next week. Okay. Yeah. The final scene of that was just like the ultimate, well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah. loved it. Um, <clears throat> it was good. Yeah. Moose, what are you playing? Do we already talk about that or no? No, I'm fine. I'm just going to blow through it just because it's um, – I've been playing Borderlands. Platinumed it uh, Saturday while streaming, which was awesome. Cool. Um, so that was a good time. Uh, the wife was dog sitting, so I was just like, I've got some time to stream, and I'm trying to work towards this plat. So I did that. And then I was just working on DLC. Like, I'm trying to work through all the first playthrough uh, DLC and then switch to second playthrough. Because I already beat the game on the second playthrough. <clears throat> but I have all the some of the side missions. All, all, like, all the side missions to do. I haven't done any of the side missions on the second playthrough, so I'll have to go back and clean all that up. But um, my ultimate goal is to try and get to max level with my character and have the same character I had on 360. But uh, they've added some new stuff. The the end fight is a little different. The gear at the end is different. Uh, I don't know if you want me to spoil it. If not, I won't. The well, well, they've been. I mean, it's nothing they haven't put out on social media because I saw that there was a new tier, right? Well, no, that's for Borderlands Two. Is that for Borderlands Two? Okay, rainbow tiers for Borderlands Two. But uh, so. It's not really, it's whatever. There is kind of a new tier. It's not necessarily a new tier. It's just new gear for mm -hmm. Borderlands 1. So, like, when you beat the final boss, you get uh, the gearbox. There's six weapons okay. uh, that, that are new to the game, and you can get any of those random six. 
in the um in so like instead of the loot exploding out of the end boss i know you beat borderlands one yeah instead of it exploding mm -hmm. out like you kill the end boss it goes to the scenes and then it's just chests in front of you mm -hmm. and so you open the chest and the main chest has like it has a random option to give you one of those six uh okay. legendary weapons. Mm -hmm. and my personal favorite is baja's shotgun it's like it's it's freaking insane like it's got like plus 500 percent to mana damage but it it does so much damage itself like i just i just melt people with the shotgun with the with uh my build from uh roland uh, the soldier mm -hmm. so anyways um there's currently a glitch where if you go to one of the dlc places log out log back in and travel back to the vault the boxes will respawn uh otherwise they don't like they're not there so like somebody because like i was playing the other day and i went to the vault by accident i was like oh crap i was like the chest respawn that's awesome and i opened up the chest i was like oh i got like legendary gear like uh there's a um hive mind rocket launcher there's a pistol called the volcano there's a sniper rifle called the silent knight which is pretty cool um, and then there's a assault rifle called uh, Bugshot, which is pretty badass. Um, but <clears throat> I, don't, I don't recall which, like, all of them are but named. But <clears throat> right. anyways, so I farmed that for a little bit tonight. And I actually got a better shotgun than the one I had, which was nice. Because it'll give you – so what's cool is, like, you can go in there on playthrough one. And if you're, like, level 69, like, the legendary always drops at your level. Right. But, so, like, no matter what, like, you could be on the first playthrough – and they should be like all the other stuff's level 30. The legendary will always be the level you are. So playing Borderlands, um, loving it. We're going to, like I said, polish off the DLC. I picked up, <clears throat> so like Jason messaged me that um, Salt and Sanctuary was going on sale, like the, the um, special edition on Switch. Physical mm -hmm. was going on sale for like 15 bucks at Best Buy. And none of the stores around me had it. And then I was like, oh, it's $20 at mine. And he's like, oh, it must be because of his, his um, game discount. Game his game discount. And he's like, well, it runs out on the 21st. He's like, this will be my last purchase. And I was like, would you mind picking up two? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, no. He's like, I have no problem with that. So he picked up that. And so that prompted me to check out um, Sue. With the Switch, like, I know Corey's been talking about going, like, digital with the Switch. I kind of do both, but, like, the special editions, like, you know, we had this conversation about, like, collector's editions mm -hmm. and all that. I don't, like, I like, like, the cool physical stuff. So, like, I was looking at Axiom Verge's uh, Multiverse Edition. Yeah. Comes with, like, the soundtrack. Comes with a double-sided poster. One side's the map comes with uh, a documentary about the making of the game comes with all like this cool stuff and it was on sale and so i picked it up so mm -hmm. it got shipped so it came in friday all right and it was they they took it and they put it in a, bu a bubble envelope not even a stiff bubble envelope just a bubble envelope and there's like creases down the side of the box the corners are all dented and damaged so like I tweeted about it and then um, I reached out to them through their app to be like, you know, this is the second time this has happened because a long time ago, lost somewhere in the Nerds Gone Rogue, you know, library. It's a, it's a conversation, <laughs> conversation that Moose had about uh, the Dark Souls remastered game guide, the special edition guide from um, Future Press. Uh, which I mailed to a friend of mine so who's, who's actually in the chat. But anyways. Uh, in the third so I was like, this is the second <laughs> time this has happened. And so she was like, all right, well, we're going to, we're going to send you a replacement. We'll send you a return on a return, you know, label, just send it, send the damage went back to us. So I was like, okay, it was supposed it that was Saturday. It was supposed to be delivered today. I go out to the mailbox What's sitting in the mailbox? A bubble envelope <laughs> with the multi the same exact type of envelope. I open it up. It's not as damaged. As it's the not first as damaged. Not as damaged. 
So mm -hmm. I call him up again and I'm like, you did, you, you did the exact same thing. <laughs> like she didn't, she, she was like, you know, stupefied. She couldn't, she had like no words. And so she was like, well, she's like, we'll just order you another replacement. And she goes to order me another replacement and they don't have any more. And so she's oh. like, I will be right back. So she puts me on hold and I'm just standing there like looking at, you know, the box and stuff. And she's just like, well, since we don't have any more to send you a replacement, just return the first one and we will not charge you for the second one. Meanwhile, they also gave me a $20 like discount, like anything I buy that qualifies, like I get $20 off on Amazon. They already gave me like a, like a, a gift. And I'm just like, you wouldn't have to go through all this shit if you just put it in a box. Just put it in a box. Well, you know what I mean. Like, I told you what happened to me, right? Through Amazon, through the uh, the uh, like the, I I also ordered the Axiom Verge uh, uh, special well, edition. Yeah, when, you, when you were on the phone, did you refer to yourself in the third person? And go, Moose I is did. getting upset. I said, <laughs> I said, this core is getting upset. Core deserves his <laughs> bit Metroid. How <laughs> game? Uh, no, like what 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 happened was like I I ordered it three mm -hmm. separate times, and all three times they sent me the the European version of the game, which I don't remember that. Which That's... which look look, <laughs> yes, technically it works on the Switch. Yeah, but it's not the point. I live in the... I live in goddamn America. That's right. Okay. That's right. That's what you live. I want so my you ESRB the American version, and they yeah. sent you the European version. Yeah, three okay. times. <laughs> three times. Oh. Did you eventually get the no. US version? No, they're like, we have to pull it off the store because something's wrong with our fulfillment center. I'm like, well, that sucks. Well, what about me? <laughs> but this, the thing is, that's Axiom Verge isn't the first time that's happened to me on Amazon. It's happened to me like seven or eight times. Huh. Wait. I just I don't I don't understand how they have European versions in the middle of Ohio. First of all, yeah, you know, and you have stuff. Amazon Prime, right? Yeah, so it shouldn't be shipping from far off. Like it's no. shipping from like New York or something. Like it's it shipping, be shipping from, from a most of them are shipping from an Amazon warehouse. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like a local, like yeah. somewhat local. Like yeah. mine, mine's like I can actually drive to the Amazon distribution center. So can I. Like, there's like, one in Cleveland. It's like five, which, minutes away. There, oh, there's one like an app, uh, about 45 minutes from where I live. Okay, so yeah, but it's <laughs> it it's just ridiculous. It's like it's just annoying put it in a box. So I I was talking to my party people in the in my Discord chat, and they were like, "Okay," and I'm like, "But for a collector, like." In my personal opinion, if I order something, the only damage that should happen to it is what I incur upon it. Like, it should come to me in as pristine. Like, I understand if you put it in a box. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to beat the hell out of this thing. <laughs> right. No, no, no. So, like, <laughs> so, like, I'm really concerned about the special edition Sekiro guide that I ordered and the Dark Souls 3 compendium. Not Dark Souls 3, but the Dark Souls compendium, which is all three games in one guide from Future Press. Mm -hmm. And I, if they come in bubble envelopes, like y'all are gonna hear me going off on, on Amazon from where y'all live because I'm not <laughs> dealing with this trash. Like it's it's horrible. Just put it in a box. Put it. I will pay you extra to put it in a box so it comes to me in pristine order. Like it's not that hard. No. See, it's it's almost like. Maybe if this multi-billion dollar company just took a little bit of time to invest in its people, they wouldn't make such bad decisions. Right. But anyways. People, people are overrated. Let's get robots. So um, I also robots. I, so I, I played some Axiom Verge on Friday because I opened game. up the box and then realized like it was way more damaged. So I was like, well, I'm going to take the game out and play the game and I'll just put the unopened one from the new one inside of it. And just be like, I took the best parts of all the damage, you know, and, and send it on its way. But anyways, I was sitting there playing and I'm like, man, it would be really great. I wonder if this soundtrack is on Google Play Music. And then I'm like, I actually own the soundtrack because it's in the collector's edition. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> so 
I You're making playing. my mistakes, Moose. Come on. No. Uh, guys, <laughs> Moose is special, okay? <laughs> so I played some Axiom Verge, which I'm loving. Operating at an infinite level. I mean, and I downloaded two games. Uh, one's called Blackbird, which is like an indie shooter uh, where you play this bird. Is it based on that Beatles song? I I don't know. I don't give a shit about the Beatles. So, anyways, um, uh, it's pretty entertaining. It's a side-scrolling shooter. You level up. Bird's got powers. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, the only reason I knew about it was because uh, Jim Sterling was talking about it and how good it was, and I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. And then I also picked up another game that caught my eye, which is called Overwhelm. Uh, and it's like an- I've heard about that game. It's like an indie title, and it kind of looks like a uh, Virtual Boy game because it's like red and black and white are the main colors of it. But the enemies get stronger in the game instead of you, and so like you get like you basically get like three chances per like deployment to try and survive. And if you die, like you have to start all over again. And so it's kind of it's got that roguelike element to it. I beat what i think is the first boss i mean i died to it once and on the second time coming back to it i was able to beat it but um it's pretty cool the only thing i don't like about the game is i hate games that make like the the bumpers of the switch instead of the actual triggers like the dr and the yeah i hate how they make those the shooting mechanics instead of the actual triggers and so I, 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 but what's nice is they put in the option to swap those controls. Okay. So you're able to swap those controls. So you mainly have like a, you have a jump, uh, a shoot, and then you have a punch ability. I don't know if you get anything later on, but those are the three main abilities that you have. So I, I jump with the L, the uh, L2 trigger, and then the R2 trigger, I shoot, and then R1 is my punching. It's so like you can punch enemies that are coming at you, or you can shoot them and conserve ammo. But um, it's it's fun. I'm looking forward to diving more into it, you know, as I play it at work on my lunch breaks. But that's been pretty much what I've been playing. Cool. That's it. <clears throat> nice. Oh, by the way, guys, just, just so you guys know, there's an 8.0 update out for Switch, and it lets you actually move the tiles around. And organize your games how you want to now. Oh, nice! So oh, there's that. You can't you can't drop them into folders yet, right? It's just uh, I do not think so. I mean, that's fine. It took I mean, a while for PlayStation Four to do folders, so baby steps. Nintendo Switch, baby steps. You just keep chugging. Um, you know, I mean, the Epic Store. Why should it launch with any type of features that Steam already has? Whatever. Well, I. The, yeah, but just, just, everyone forgets how much shit was talked on Steam when it started, too. Oh, no. Just, no, no I don't forget. <laughs> I'm not saying. Well, no. Forget. We all know Moose doesn't forget. But I'm never. just <laughs> I'm just saying. The Moose I'm never a- forgets. <laughs> <laughs> um, before before we get into questions, I, sh- I realized I forgot to go on a rant about something. Uh, Record Store Day was this weekend. Yay! Uh, Did you buy anything? Anything good? I went. Uh, I went. Mind you? Did you buy anything? Uh, no, I didn't get it. I well, okay, I didn't buy anything uh, at Record Store because there was one thing I was looking for, and by and I got off work at eight Saturday morning. I got to my record store by about eight twenty, and there were already sixty people in line. Jesus, um, yeah. sounds, like a, sounds like a good time. Vinyl people don't fuck around. Um, I don't people need a life. Except- uh, well, there's only one day a year we, we get, you know. Uh, but so I went, I wanted to get Robin's body talk because that's a really hard thing to get on vinyl uh, unless you want to shed $500. And I don't want to shed $500 mm-hmm. uh, mainly because I don't have it. Otherwise, I probably would. But we're not going to talk about that because I don't need Reba to come down and slap me. I was gonna um, say, I don't, we don't need domestic violence. But, uh, so so I came up absolutely empty handed at Record Store Day. And I, I like I got there and realized I didn't have it. And I just left because it was really crowded. And I didn't want to just go. I didn't want to keep other people from coming in by just looking around when I wasn't going to buy anything. So I just left. Um, but the collection did increase this week. Uh Nice. Limited Run Games sent me my copy of Spelunky on vinyl. Very nice. And uh, and, and and this one arrived. This Soundgarden. 
Soundgarden. Nice. It's a uh, red and orange. It's two LP set. It's really good. What uh, is exact? What is right behind your head? Uh, the red right. or right. or it's this? Like the silver one, right? Behind oh, you. this? No, but yes, that one. Yes, that silver. is that is a uh, Pygmalion by Slow Dive. Never mind. They, like, remember how? Remember how um, we got into that discussion with Phillips about what uh, shoegaze is? Mm, Slow yeah. Dive is a shoegaze band. However, this album is their least shoegaze album. Um, okay. And, and and for the record, Weezer are not a shoegaze band because they clean up their sound. Shoegaze is a very feedback driven, uh, pedal laden guitar rock, and it is very fuzzy and the lyrics are buried but you can understand weezer's lyrics so they can't be shoegaze um and they're not really dream pop either i'd like everybody to know that he's talking to phillips and not the rest of us right because <laughs> because i know that i know that Corey knows what shoegaze is and i know that you know what shoegaze is i know that cl i know that clearly i'm i don't need to, all of this is just Right in the front of your noggins. Um, Remember that conversation we had? Well, I'm going to say something while he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, just because they look at their shoes doesn't, doesn't mean they're a shoegaze band. It's just like. That's true. That's true. They're, just, they're looking at their pedals. They're making sure that's just, pedals are that's just like saying that's it. That's just like saying just because a Korean is making music, they're K pop. And that's not true. Um, uh, oh, speaking of music. I, I I heard that new BTS album. It's not great. Um, BTS what? It's a K-pop group. <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> um, their fir the first the first two songs on it are really good. The rest of it, it just kind of trails off in a way that I'm like not interested in anymore. Uh, and I have to go argue with a coworker about that tonight. So that'll be fun. It's always fun. She's super into K-pop, and yeah. Uh. So K-pop, you say? K-pop, yes. That is Korean pop music. Yes. Look at Co check out the big brain on Corey Dierig. I done good, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the clone of Stan in South Park. Time to return. Cell, cell five. <laughs> <laughs>